Welcome to the OSRS Podcast, where we talk about RuneScape-related things, content, etc. Every Sunday, we will be trying to upload a video. So slap that like button, hit the subscribe, and I am your host, Mint Mad Cow, joined by uh, some Yo, evil men down on, below. Boys? <laughs> Just cut me off. Yo, what's going on, guys? Rexy here. How you doing? Rexy, hello. And then... That's me, Solo Mission. Bro, now I'm going to introduce <laughs> oh, no, you as the I'm hardcore sorry, Iron Man <laughs> Slayer, sorry, dude. Man. I'm sorry, <laughs> I fucked my own name. The yeah, hardcore Iron Man Slayer. Fuck it. Dude, everyone you guys already is know, evil so down below, dude. All right? Rexy, so you want to give us <laughs> a little bit of uh, some pizzazz on this video before we hit that play button? Man, well, this is what happens when we have a week off of doing the podcast. We just crumble and fall to shit. Yeah, dude. dude we're Jesus all tired. Christ. We're all That's what happens tired, when we man. have a guest flick on us, you know? <laughs> Alrighty then. Right, what is this video? What Introduce do you mean? What is, you, 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 That's you your video. video. Oh, right, okay. Alright, alright. So Give us the background, Rexy. I, I, right, so this was... When was this video? This was 2015. Yeah, right here. August. This was a long time ago. This was four years ago. I'm assuming this is when Iron Man first came out. Is that correct? And you uh, yeah, something that? like that. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. So the reason year, we'll okay. the reason we're revisiting this video is basically come on, <laughs> where's so he going, out. dude? Good boy. Uh, is because recently Solo Mission kills a very innocent, harmless, hardcore man in the wilderness, hunting him down to be precise. <laughs> Let's save it. So, <laughs> What we're doing is we're having a look and we're comparing the different <laughs> level of support, whether it be hate or love, between me killing a regular Iron Man for a Chaos Abbey pet, not even considered rare, it's one in 300, compared to somebody taking away someone's status. That's the way that I see it. Let's play the video. Let's get into it. All right, let's join into you. I'll skip around to here. Quick, 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 we're gonna fucking get off it, man. Oh, he's so keen. Oh my god. He's so excited. He's so excited. <laughs> he's so excited. <laughs> he's literally he's cheersing himself castle. over this. I know. It's like, yes. Oh, my god. oh look Quickly. at dude. And the smite. That could have been my ass. ass. That's what I just got a pet. <laughs> Is this harsh? Is this harsh? <laughs> Is this harsh? It's an Iron Man as well. It's tender. Yeah, you've got the Scorp pet and the Chaos Ellie pet. Look at that shit. Oh my god. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, he the sorry. He's, oh he's my right. god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I vote Rakesy is you much worse <laughs> of a person, man. Much worse of a- no! Look at this, mate. Alright, well, alright. Let's, let's watch Solar Missions- Let's watch Solar Missions video. Let's watch it. This was a Chris Archie clip, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, look no, at no, this. No, no, no. Okay. I give Chris Archie Wait, wait, the before right. we watch it, we should scroll down to the comments and see what people, um, you know. Good idea. By the way, basically, I don't know if Chris Archie ever uploaded that clip, but Spark Mac did. And Spark Mac, as you can see, I got so much hate on that video. Spark Mac uploaded it, and that motherfucker was, like, giving me shit in the comments. <laughs> he was like, I know what this guy did was fucking horrible and all of this, but I've just uploaded the clip as a highlight. And I was just saying, like, oh, oh my fucking God. <laughs> right. Okay, let's, let's go to the comments. So You'll get yeah. it again, dude. See, that's the worst part. It's just, not like, even rare. Oh, oh wait, I see one day. from yo. I see one from Autumn Elegy. People like you ruined this game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. And be yeah. bearing in mind, this was back when I had less than a thousand subscribers on YouTube, so I was incredibly small in comparison. Autumn Elegy, I think he had like maybe 30, 40 thousand subs at the time, so he was like a big fish. And I was really surprised that he commented on this video. He seems like but someone yeah. who would do that, who would comment on someone's smaller channel. Yeah, let's find some <laughs> yeah, juicy yeah. comments, you know. <laughs> it's like worth wasting ruined, XP yeah. to dislike. Also dislike all of his other recent uploads. See, yep. that's Damn, before he even wow. hit the Alcarid Mines for like a year straight, dude. He, he was going crazy beforehand. That's. Oh, wait, that was Autumn Energy that died that? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, he, he's no, 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 he has beef with you. Okay, years, all right. <laughs> a bit a bit of a backstory on my response, right? So, I was just a fucking troll, and I literally didn't give a shit. I went into Google, and I typed in edgy Batman quote, and I copied and pasted the first thing <laughs> that I got. And I copied and pasted, introduced a little anarchy, upset the established order, and everything becomes chaos. Make sure to keep rating and commenting, guys, right? To which he responded, <laughs> right? Only reason he killed him was because he got the pet, and the only reason to kill a person who just got a pet is to make them unhappy. Doesn't benefit him whatsoever. The guy wasn't risking anything. Wait, has he removed this comment? He's removed his comment. Oh, I don't doubt fuck? it. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't know that. So, yeah, he responded to that Batman quote and took it seriously and started bringing up, like, real-world issues and fraud-world countries. Like, I'm talking, like, some autistic shit. Like, real fucked up. Um, <laughs> what? He, yeah, seriously. He, he, re- he responded with something that was just like, this guy needs to fucking take a breather and just leave his house for five minutes because this dude's a little loopy. He's deleted his comment. That's interesting. But yeah, he, he took it really seriously and then he got roasted by a bunch of people saying, you do realize that's a Batman quote. Right? <laughs> that's probably why he deleted it. Yeah, yeah, it was cause, cause, yeah exactly. Is, cause... It, was it kind of like Jabrim on Twitter, how he kind of posted things? There? But he's, he's, he's like seriously, you know, weird. <laughs> but well, you know... I hate... Okay, I'm not going to talk no trash, man. All I'm saying yeah, is, dude, yeah, you tried to submit yeah. this to fucking Chris Archie, so it's memes on its own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, look, 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 look. This, this was four years ago, and I'm assuming that's when RMN first came out. So there was a big uproar about me killing this guy for a Chaos Alley pet, because obviously pets are of hard to get, Of course, it's a little bit People shitty. People dislike... It okay, is. All right. It is a little so bit that, shitty, right. man. Yeah, it's a little bit shitty, but <laughs> let's compare that what solo mission recently did let's watch solo missions video i okay. have a shit ton of stuff to say boy you're about to get dropped i, I want to say one one thing though man. <laughs> no, 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 no. oh shit what's that one thing one thing he did this because this guy was boosting though right that other poor dude was just trying to fucking be okay all right hey, if you want to get into it now, then, if you want to get into it now that's fine listen i by chance found that guy in the wilderness i wasn't <laughs> hunting him solo mission went out of his way he used like three different accounts to try and kill that fucker he sold 100 mil worth of gear to buy a dark bone for a boy and he, 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 he had the fucking down. ranger boots on I too just found this yeah. Dude. yeah i found the dude by coincidence he hunted it i was yeah. I, I was gonna give it to That's you man. systematically but look at you took him out him. for two pets you got scorp right here and then you got the chaos <laughs> ellie man dual oh pet loss right there Oh. It was coincidence, whereas Solo Mission hunted him down. Solo Mission got only love, dude. He got 50,000 views love, on his bro. video. The hardcore I'm on Slayer. Yeah, that's yeah, right. It's like, it's cause look at how cute. Look at this man, dude. He's like, oh, of course they're going to love him. Right? Any one of us kill a hardcore, we're going to get sick. Yeah, no, I think I think a lot to do with the fact that the, the video was edited like a meme. Oh, dude, it was so And good. it was also some dude was boosting. You know, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, I, I think yeah. if, it was, if, the, if the person wasn't boosting, I would have got so much hate. Yeah, no one likes it. Yeah. Yeah, well, I hate you. Because you, you, <laughs> you got less hate than I did, man. Well, yeah, but let's look how much effort went into his Twitter video. I mean, this is pretty... I had to, I had to make it good. Yeah, that was mean as fuck. Oh, you can put the meme song on there. Look at that. He's <laughs> <laughs> hunting it, back. boys. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I love the thing that he says. Watch what he says. <laughs> I hope your family dies. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's probably probably why you know people like that. that. Mate, that's probably all energy's new hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see the money. Your family see, dies. I don't know, it's only seventy-seven money, oh dude. God. I don't know. Uh, right. So no, let's let's my... let's ask the viewers what's worse. Okay. Let, let's summarize this. So I randomly just so happened to find a normal Iron Man. You got a pet, which isn't even considered rare. Killed him for it because he was in the wilderness. By chance. Or is it worse to find a hardcore in the wilderness, killing him for the sole reason of knocking him off that high scoreboard and hunting him <laughs> in the process? Which is worse? I have no bias between the two. I'm going to rephrase <laughs> the question. Which is a higher production value? I think... I, dude, this I'll, was four I'll, years I'm going to say... I'm going to say... I don't think... Eve, I don't think Eve is bad. If you're in the wilderness, you can get PK'd. Like, yeah, so yeah. yeah. I, think, I think face value is like that. That's that's what I would say. Face I, 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 I could take the moral high ground and say even if he was doing like Major Reader 2, I wouldn't have killed him. But I still would have done. Yeah, like... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was like, hardcore about that. That oh, thumbnail. Yeah. Fucking hell, that bit's going to pop yeah. off. Yeah, like... like <laughs> if, if you saw... Um... A person just getting a Chaos Ellie pet solo, would you kill him too? Like in that situation? You just found uh, him randomly. Of course he would. He just smiled. Probably, yeah. right? Like, <laughs> you, you, you <laughs> yeah, of course he would. He's just like, yeah, dude. Right. So, if, I, if, I, if I had the choice if I had the choice between killing the hardcore or Chaos Ellie pet, I'd go for the hardcore. Though. Well, anytime, yeah. If they were both stood there. I don't know. Okay, you were just But like, if you were just hunting and looking for people, you you find that guy, you just kill him. Right? I did. I did ever would. I don't know. Uh, okay. Uh, also, to know. defend myself, I didn't, I didn't think I'd upload it. I wouldn't upload that if I did that. <laughs> <laughs> in, that. in the clip where I killed that guy, the Iron Man, 
Oops. I remember it being very close to when Iron Man was released, or like shortly after. And I'll be completely honest, and this is 100% truthful, I didn't know the difference between a regular Iron Man or an Ultimate, which I think were the only two Iron Men at the time. I didn't know the difference. All I knew was that I saw a bunch of clips on Chris Archie and Spark Mac of people dying who were Iron Men <clears throat> and having like a hundred mil worth of loot. Because obviously Ultimate Iron Men, can only, they only have their oh, yeah. before they carry that stuff. I, I was kind of, um, what's the word? Uh, Pixel hungry. <laughs> I'm always pixel hungry. I'm I, 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 was, I was ignorant to the facts, but the dude was in the wildy. And also my friend was uh, from Liverpool and uh, he was definitely- He would have got him anyway. Did not. Oh, yeah, yeah. He would have killed him a hundred percent. He would have uploaded it. You can even hear him in the video. I'm like, wait, is this harsh? And he's like, no. Like, it's, uh, no, no, this isn't harsh. This is what you get for being in the wildy, man. So uh, if you yeah. did this right here, how would you edit it to make it acceptable to the public? What would you throw behind it? Oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't think you'd, you could ever make this acceptable. It is. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's, yeah. Like, people, like, you get hate no matter what for doing it. Yeah. Like, there's there's no way yeah, to turn it it, it was just slightly different. The guy was boosting. Unless, like, and... And he also said some toxic shit back after he lost dude, his status. Racy, I cannot wait to read the comments, dude. I so, think you're going to get roasted. Like, I think it would have been passable if like you killed him and then you went to like the respawn point and then he was like, yo, I hope your family dies. And, like He said something like that. And then it's like, oh, okay, that guy was an asshole anyway. So whatever, <laughs> he deserved it. But like, yeah, because he, he had a lot of like... All he said was points. no. <laughs> That's all he could yeah, talk about. Yeah, exactly. Bro. So, so he he looked like a victim, you know, like a victim victim, mm -hmm. I, a travesty. Dude, I don't I don't find and it then, evil though. Oh, I just no. find it funny. I mean, especially because it yeah, was so, so back in the day. Yeah, I don't think it's evil. But it's, yeah. If you were to upload Boys, this today, yeah, it'd be evil as shit. But if you're in the wilderness, <clears throat> you got two options, right? <laughs> You either swim with the sharks or you get eaten by the sharks. Simple as that. Or you right? just log off. <laughs> Sorry, fish, mate. Was it's shark eating, time. <laughs> shark tag, bitch. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shark tag. Yeah, it's true, I, though. I, if I you're in the wilderness, like, you can't complain. Yeah, yeah I feel honestly. like, wait, wait, so you've been a PK since back in the day. Like, I used to PK in, like, 2006 and stuff. Like, I don't know. If you see somebody, you're going to kill them, aren't you? Dude, but I'm not going to stop killing somebody just because they've got yeah. a little fucking helmet next to their name. You know what I mean? <laughs> Sorry. If you're, if I mean, you're in the wilderness, you, that's my swan. I'm, I'm too nice, dude. Though. I'm too nice as a PK. -er. Like, the other day, this guy was risking void over 20. And I was like, hey, dude, I'm going to kill you. Just run to 20 so you don't lose your void. This fucker tries to box a dragon. Oh my I'm God. too nice to people, man. I just I gotta get that Rakesy mentality. Just slay everyone's ass. Yeah, well, me, me, me yeah. and Rakesy just spare, spare him above level twenty. World, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just log in. <laughs> no, that would be spear him back up. Oh my God. Uh, New vid idea, dude. Let's do a collab, spearing people for yeah. Void. There we go. Right, let's get let's get into the webcam. Yo, this vid hits it... one thousand likes. We're gonna spear some people in the Void. Right, <laughs> That'd be sweet. I'm telling you, squad. when you've been in like a toxic PKing clans, dude, your morals are long gone. Oh no, I agree. You know, <laughs> it, it's you stop viewing people in the wilderness as people. It's just like you're my enemy. Just it's just pray. Cheeks. Just simple as cheeks, yeah. pray. That must be. <clears throat> Did you That's pretty yeah. much it? Did you guys see that dude I found? Uh, but yeah, I PKed a guy at KBD in full bandos, like an ornament kit. DFS. Oh my god! That's and all you know what shit. he does. Instead of going into KBD, he runs directly down until he hits about 13 wild, just straight south. He was so tanky, oh, I couldn't no. kill him until, like, uh, the Black Knight's Fortress area. If he just would have ran into KBD. He... Oh, my God. Yeah, I think he's a new player. Or he just... He was trying to ask know. people, hey, you guys want to... Um... Uh, triple KBD and the GE is trying to find people and stuff. Because oh, someone was hunting him down. So oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> and I just Wait, found him randomly. He didn't skull. How did he skull? He just had so much shit on him. Oh, right? so... dude, I, I need to check that video out, man. I've not seen it yet. Ah, dude, I'm yeah. succulent. Yeah, you should have seen that Twitch clip. Yo, that was pretty crazy. I'll find it here. Give me a like, second. He, saw... his... he bought his I... whole cash stack, right? Too? Yeah, yeah. Min. Was it that one? Mm hmm. <clears throat> right. <laughs> I'm, ashamed. I'm ashamed to admit this because I hate myself for doing it, but I was watching one of those RuneScape highlight channels the other day, and there was a clip of Mint Mad Cal. And it was literally the funniest fucking thing I've seen in my life. Was it a clan? And it was like, you escaped, you escaped to kid at um, Veteon, and you like stood up and you were like, fuck yes, and you were like going mad. <laughs> I, I was trying to find it on your channel and I couldn't find it. It was the funniest shit, dude. Oh, it was man. actually hilarious. Seriously, so good. Right. So good. Okay. Right. Yes. 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 <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, we killed him. What's on the floor? Holy. <laughs> the face. <laughs> what? Why this is was he so eating. bad? Why was he so bad? Look at that loot. Look at that loot. Look at the Yo. flame, dude. Look at the loot, dude. What are you doing? What just are you wait. doing, man? Is that a berserk ring? ring? Give me mm -hmm. that. Er dude, that was a DFS. <laughs> Dragon DFS Ornament. is like oh 7 mil though, man. It Dragon was so bad. Yeah. Just right. Right. fucking nuts. He was risking it, though. What the fuck? Why? This man was a bigger noob than you think, <laughs> Why, mate. Dude, so <laughs> with the bug, oh buddy. my god. Watch What's me the open some looting bag. Oh my god. <laughs> 46 mil cash! <laughs> the 45 mil, dude. Where the fuck did that come from? See, dude, I'd be gone, mate. I wouldn't be tied. I'm over here in multi type and like a dumbass, dude. <laughs> I know, <laughs> man. <laughs> We ran him Lock down to 22 Wildy from KVD. What oh was that God. man doing? He had so many chances to escape. Oh man. Yeah, no, that that was a mama's credit card account right there next time. <laughs> right, so you got a nice PK clip you'd like to show us, man? You got Oh uh, no, no, I'm good. <laughs> I, I'm just I'm just here spectating. <laughs> oh man. Alright, so ooh. My chrome loading? There we go. So apparently there's been a lot of uh back and forth between the PvP polls that just came out. What do you guys think about some of these polls that are not passing for literally no reason? Like, uh, one defense on blessed chaps, 71%. Bruh. I, I'm not I don't know. your favorite, but do you not know? I don't know? even know why they polled that. That's, right? What's the point? And, and um, we're not going to try to sway anyone's vote here. I just... I, I mean, it's already too late, honestly. Yeah, it, it, it's when they show late. the results, it's over. I just yeah, think exactly. um, if a main's downvoting, it's like mains do clues a lot, and clues are you know getting really devalued. So this would make black you know chaps go up in price. So why would you vote no? I don't know, man. I don't know. I think it's just some people shit. just so clearly actively hate the PvP community. Yeah, that's, you know what it is. That's a twenty-four percent. Yeah. So have you ever seen yeah. something lower than that? All right, all right, think about it this and way. You can, and you can tell by the skips as well. Oh my like, god, I thought that, that was, I thought the 71, oh, that is horrible. No, it's 24%, yeah, Holy do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. That is trash. Nothing, like, nothing PvP pulled ever passes. I gotta like, start ever. a Swampletic series, dude. PvP's ending, <laughs> it's over, man. Oh, fuck. Yeah, a, a, lot of, a lot of it's definitely the fact that you can see the results. I mean, honestly, even with the results in, you probably get like, uh, well, it won't be as crazy as seventy one percent. It'll be a lot less think, than that. I think the problem is, is PvP oh, is the smaller, more, smaller portion of the player base, and it's the old thing like you can't get yeah, the turkeys to vote for Christmas, yeah. etc. Like, yeah, it's know. easier to go on. Yeah, a that's one variable, right? Yeah, you know. Yeah, just... another one is the fact that it's a <clears throat> meme. It's kind of like a meme to you know, hate, hate PK. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Plus, so, like, people, so, like, people internalize that shit and make it into like a real issue. I don't know why not. people would even hate PKers, dude. We're really friendly. You know what I mean? I just, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know why anyone would ever try to hate PKers, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so there's uh, definitely a lot of hate, uh, but you also have the fact that you can see the results. So, if you know people just join in the bandwagon, agree. Yeah, they but need a to, lot they of it. A lot, a good them. amount of the nose is definitely because of the bandwagon. I just, I gotta I, say. For PvP content, man, right now, a lot of the PvM content is definitely rising above the PvP content. Iron Man series, fucking different series. Slayer, everyone's doing Slayer. But some of the most watched shit on YouTube, on Twitch, Deadman Mode, Torvestas, Frames videos, man, 500, yeah. 700k views, is PvP. And downloading this PvP content is not just shitting on PKers, but content creators <clears throat> who could bring more people into RuneScape with this influence. Because you ever watch like an Iron Man series and go... I really want to play that game. No, you just you fucking watch a PK video and go, ooh, nostalgia. You know what I mean? If you're a new, right. brand new player. So, I, I I've know. got something I want to chip in real quick. So, yeah, I, it. to be honest, I've been a bit disconnected recently with RuneScape. I haven't been playing very much. But from reading these questions for the first time, those two questions that we just read, they're not actually PvP questions. They're pure questions. Yeah. I don't think that failed because of anything to do with PK and... I think that's just because there's such a small minority of people that actually have pures in the game that people just don't care enough. Like, if you don't have a pure, why would you care whether no. D-Hide Chaps <clears throat> Blessed should be on a that's pure? That's why they shouldn't. They, they definitely shouldn't. Yeah, that's not really the most PvP-related poll. There's a couple more down below. There's more. There's, like, the Entangle and stuff. Yeah, so but... Oh, okay. With. I you was gotta gonna imagine, say, yeah. like, you, there's the spite <clears throat> pures, and pures are only made for PvP. So it's kind of connected, but not that. Connected, I could definitely see that. But here's more <coughs> PvP related. Like, um, should entangle, snare, and bind durations be unaffected by protect from mage, which is a huge one, and l not even close. <laughs> not even, yeah, yeah, not even close, man. 
Have you tried? I don't think they would have passed. passed. With regular no magic, regular magic sucks. You, half your inventory space is filled with runes. Accuracy is absolute shit. Half freezes, no damage. Absolute trash. I think this is pretty much what promotes single clans because you know you, they need a tilly blocker. Someone can't tilly block for themselves. They'll never be able to fight their own. Level. Yeah, it's a huge conflict of interest. You know, it's just most people don't want to be attacked in the wilderness, <laughs> even though it is the wilderness. <laughs> yeah, no, because they're forced to be in there. They're forced to be in the PvP area. Trying to do my clue so, scroll, man, you know? So they'll definitely abuse the post system, you know, to make sure that there's no, <clears throat> no like, less interruptions going into yeah. the wilderness as a PDMer. I, I think the people that get, like, upset when they die for clue scrolls <clears throat> in the wildies, like, they just need to realize that the people that are killing, if someone's killing you because you got a fucking clue scroll, chances are they're absolutely trash. So if you turn around and start fighting them back, even with an MSB, AGS, claws, etc., you're probably going to kill them. You know what I mean? They're not good PKers. People that are in Max Ancestry on Arims probably aren't going to kill somebody that's clearly doing a clue scroll. The people that kill people doing clue scrolls tend to be quite bad. Kill them. It's easy. Yeah, I've never it's easier than a clue running away. Ever. That's bad. <clears throat> um, no one, <clears throat> no one likes to fight back. They're scared. You know, every time. Like I remember my first time PKing. You know, my hand was all shaky. I can only imagine that's what they feel like. But they just. I'll gotta... be right back, guys. Continue on the but... combo. Only if you it. risk something, dude. Like, why would you be nervous? Like, dude, if you don't risk, that's what anything? I'm saying. Don't worry about yeah. your gear if you're not risking feel, much. But people the, le just... the least you can do is just like a crystal bear and just crystal bear back or something like. Rune Sebo, you know, mage no, when you're on somebody and then like yeah. someone just hacking you back so you can't smile. <laughs> it's just like it does put you back definitely. Oh, exactly. Is there um? Did they vote about the black dehyde on here too? I I've heard they're talking a lot about the black dehyde, how it's really strong. I don't know. I don't think they'll it. put that in the poll though, because <clears throat> that they'll say it's a balancing change if they do that. I think. What are they nerfing Black Dehyde? I think it's like it gets brought up so much that they're looking into. I think they're looking into it. Yeah, because Amenity can, like, made a really good video talking about the different tiers of magic defense, and Dehyde is super, super <clears throat> overpowered. I think. I think the problem is that nobody at Jagex really understands PvP well enough, and yeah. like the. The, like, the, like the niche issues within like the PvP community because it is like so like quite small. Last night, like, was... it, it, I don't know. It's just like it's difficult, isn't it? Right, because they have no one who's really dedicated to the PvP, and Archie is already so spread out that he can't really focus too much on it. He's already got dead memo going on. Yeah, I that's, think... that's. I don't think that's his job anymore either. No, it's not. They they yeah. should definitely try to. I say we should have like a one v one tournament to see who should win. You know, win J mod. You know. Because if you win, you obviously <laughs> care <laughs> about the wilderness because you're decent at it, right? I mean... What, J-Mod yeah. All-Star Tournament or something? Is that <laughs> what you're saying? Sick. <laughs> yeah. as you get a job at the end. What's the prize? As long as it's not like an insane <laughs> clan member, right? As long as it's just someone who wants to promote the wilderness. Just one J-Mod. Only on wildy matters. You know, spearing matters. Uh, deep wildy stuff. Glitches, bugs. A lot of bugs, by the way. If you guys have noticed that CC glitch... Going on. Oh, yeah, that's, that's so been annoying. going on for ages, man. Holy but it's shit. worse now, though. It's so much worse now. They changed oh. something. I think like, it's that... because they're working on their um, engine system, and it's actually fucked with the Wildy a lot. I've it's all to do with Group Iron Man, right? I've heard that as a... Yeah, I don't know. It's that, some it engine be. thing. So... Yeah, because apparently they were having issues with the engine when it comes to Group Iron Man, <clears> because they're just having difficulties, like, allowing... Obviously, if it's Group Iron Man, those Iron Men are allowed to trade with each other and stuff like that and apparently that was a big issue was remembering those accounts are like connected and it had something to do with the cc i remember hearing that i don't know if it was on um one of their live streams or no something. you're correct maybe just a rumor yeah that that uh the the engineer works has to do with the cc for group ironman so i think they're working on okay. it but due to them working on it which they haven't told us i don't think that they're actually working on it i think there's some game breaking bugs in the game so i was doing some you know rock wieldy pking at rev caves and we're in a single line, and somebody gets frozen who's in the multi line, and it freezes everyone in single. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. that doesn't sound right. No, no, and that's like the tip of the iceberg on shit that's been going on deep wildy for some of these bugs. And I'm scared someone's gonna find something, and it, it's over. You know, you could skull trick someone like that super easy. Oh, yeah. to be honest with you, that sounds like such an easy skull trick. <laughs> so, someone would probably do that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if it works every time, but it definitely worked at the Rev multi line. And I'm just sitting there like, you shouldn't be frozen. What the hell? It just kept happening. Like, hey, what the fuck's going on? You know? So I'd imagine I have to do something with the engine work. And I just. I don't if, know. if I was a nerd, I'd probably try to look more into it, but I don't know shit about engine work at all. 
Yeah, me, me neither, dude. Don't worry about it. Scroll down. Yeah, yeah, about it. <laughs> I can't remember what the rest of these were. Oh, it's oh. changed the Serpentine Helm back to what it was before. <laughs> it's like, what? Was that there? It, I it's saw not that. passing, but... Thank Wait, God. why do they want to do that? Which one is that? Which one what? is that? Question. Oh, the Serp. Yeah, why do they're they want to do that? They're, change, they're changing it back right, to plus right, five strength, right. which is what it was before, and then they took it down to plus three. Do you remember that? Yeah, I do. Oh, back when it was worth like 200, 300k, and it was stupid yeah. OP. Plus why five. was it so cheap? Oh, because the scales had no value. Because you couldn't yeah. uh, dismantle you and stuff like that. You can destroy it. Dude. Plus five with overpower, but I thought they were going to change the Venom bag when you read that, and I got scared. Because that oh, Venom no. was strong. <laughs> no. You remember that Venom no, back in the day? Worry. Oh my god. Yeah. That was murder. I mean, if That's they weird. do that, that hey, just yo, makes the Do you guys talk about the uh, dehyde yeah. bonus oh, thing? Oh, on the Serp Helm now. Yeah. How they want to change it back to plus five strength instead of plus three. Oh no! Look. I was talking about like the um, the dehyde, uh, blessed dehyde, having a uh, no defense requirement for the chaps. <clears throat> oh yeah, we we passed that, right? You, yeah, you yeah, yeah. That no, a ton, I, just, I just want to bring that up again. Oh yeah, like, go for I, it. It's okay. I had some people like they were like, oh, what do you think? What do you think about the blessed dehyde chaps, um, being being a zero defense requirement? And, and there, I was like, like it doesn't matter because it's literally just one prayer bonus. And then some people were like, what do you mean one prayer bonus? That's game change. I'm like, what? <laughs> What are you game talking changer. about? It's one prayer bonus. Black Dia, like, it's game bro. changing. Like, one prayer bonus. Forehead, like, shit, man. Especially PK. You know, people get those halos on the pier for like plus yeah. two. What's wrong with those people? That's a shit yeah, ton so, of effort so for two like, prayer bonus. Yeah. That's not going like, to do anything bro, for you. It doesn't matter. Like, the PKers are still going to kill you. It's fashion skate, bro. It looks like, shit, one prayer man. bonus. Yeah. I, I, so got one, I got one on Rexy, dude. It's my favorite. Album. I've killed it's people for that deep wildy. They'll bring them deep wildy sometimes. I don't think that's not going to. They're goons. Mm -hmm. absolute goons James. yeah so like that one's just like a pity that's just that's just like a grief you know that's just a grief no right I'm thinking there. they're missing out on this dehyde thing because it's it's gonna make the price imagine it, if oh, definitely. Could wear it. Yeah, it would yeah, be it'll, sky it'll, high for clues for, yeah. items, for like the, for like the first it. week man you probably can sell everything for like a extra 10 20k higher it's literally good for more. everybody it would increase yeah. the price of blessed dehyde chaps mm -hmm. also the only thing that would benefit is pure like one prayer bonus is nothing yeah, it's it's not pure, it would help pures that are like doing slayer which very few pures do or maybe if they're going for like the infernal cape or a fire cape but it's unnecessary with both of those anyways yeah. so it doesn't it's have like extra. a massive impact in the game but it would increase the price of items which are currently just like worthless yeah it, which it, is so. pretty good for everybody it's not like you know, it's not like PVMers don't sell e high shit. You know, when they do cool scrolls. So exactly, man. If um, if this wasn't downvoted, I don't even think we'd hear about it. It's not a big deal. But since it's it was not... downvoted, it's so ridiculous that everyone's <clears throat> talking about the plus one prayer bonus. Like this is yeah. bigger news than most things right going on right now. It's so dumb. It's so yeah, minuscule. man. I have people telling me it's game changing. You know, so... <laughs> that's so silly. It's one yeah. prayer bonus. Like <laughs> I know. I'm like, so you think like a two strength bonus? From the from the new Serp Helm is less game breaking than the one prayer bonus. Yeah. Right. Dude, in oh. fact, it wouldn't even like people wouldn't even slay in it. If you had a brain, you would actually just blow pipe slay as a one defense in like monk robe top and bottom or like Saradome top and bottom for the prayer bonus. Yeah. Like you wouldn't bother with the chaps because it gives nothing. Wait, what is the monk robe prayer bonus? Hold up. Like, well, I mean, like uh, depending on what you're fighting, you know, you might want the chaps, but it's like one prayer bonus anyways. So it's, not it's got five. Uh, monk oh, robe damn, has so five, so that's damn, way better. better. <laughs> Runescape knowledge, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, I mean, I mean, black dehyde and blessed dehyde. The difference is literally one prayer bonus. So yeah, no that should, what, that should like pass. Nothing. Like that shouldn't like it doesn't really even have to be pulled, but you know yeah, there's something that annoys me more is that why would they pull something like this? You know, just just yeah. Man, I know they've been kind of feeling some of the hate from their past decisions, but I mean they yep, still do bruh. stuff without the pull. You know what I mean? So oh yeah, they'll so there is no like... there is no real consistency for them. You know? Yeah, I think the pull. Do you guys think the polling system is still a good system, or do you think they should? Like, like the polling system should it. be um should be first thing, you know, hit hidden results, and it should be a feedback system. What's yeah, not like think, a, oh, what what that. you get? Because like first of all, seventy five percent is arbitrary as hell. Like, why not fifty percent? Why not sixty percent? Right? It's like why not any of those? Right? It doesn't. It doesn't. It's just a random number that they decide. Oh my god! And... Yo, that girl with the OSRS on her lip, man. Holy shit! If I saw oh, that yeah. night out. Oh. 
That's an entrance. <laughs> That's Neve's cave right there. You know what I'm saying? Oh god, please be overage. Okay. Um, Jesus Christ. Uh, no, Jesus Christ. Is that, is that real? Teeth. That can't be real, man. That's, That's not real, surely. Oh, it's gotta be real, dude. I swear there was like a Reddit post about the polling system I was trying to find, but I guess. Oh yeah, there was one. Um, it was like hide the poll. It was like in in the world map or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see a difference. I, no, I'm just kidding. Dude, Jagex are just at that point now where I feel like they're just haunted from their past. They did some <laughs> shitty stuff back in the day, which fucked the game up and permanently destroyed free what is now RuneScape Free. What the fuck? But they need they need to just grab yeah. this and take control of it. There are some things that I need think to be so. pulled. Yeah, There's other things yeah. that do not need to be pulled and should just be put. If it makes sense for it to be in the game. Put it in the game. Right. If it's something that's gonna break the game, poll it. You know. I think yeah. I think they should think. poll big things. Like for example, I think they should poll warding after they like put it to community. I don't oh yeah, they're definitely gonna the do that. That's for but sure. But like, but yeah. like for the small small things, they should just have like a Discord of like the high level PVM SPKs, skillers. I don't know if that exists. Maybe it exists already. Like a know. higher council. Oh, there's a lot of channels. Like a fucking like, like elder you know, council get, for RuneScape. <laughs> they get they get feedback from yeah. Twitter all the time because like all the elder high level council. people are oh, on Twitter, man. so That's they sweet. just they I, get a lot of feedback from from over there, anyways. Brick and Morty? Wait, what are we doing? <laughs> oh, the elder council. Does it not show up? Dude, I'm really tempted to get out. Yeah, the council rings. <laughs> <laughs> we need them for RuneScape, baby. Oh that's man, amazing. I want to be there for the peer community, dude. For God's sake, yeah, that's what's up. They uh, should. That's actually a, such a sick idea. They could have somebody, the elder council of wilderness of uh, but, PVM. That'd be Wooks, obviously. Mm -hmm, you know, that yeah. that actually be Just that'd be people sick. People care, man. but aren't gonna like um like like people that is not advantage. as selfish. You know, exactly. I mean, for themselves. I think like, I think I think it is already a thing somewhat. I think that was pvp discord but i think the problem was it just i think aiza was running it so now he's eyes is gone i'm not i'm now not sure if it's still a thing but apparently just turned into an argument about black dehyde all the time and stuff and like you've got people from different clans you got people from multi-clan single clans and stuff and they could never yeah agree yeah things. so i mean when it comes to at least like stuff like the dehyde so obvious like if it passes doesn't matter nothing changes see that um elder council thing though I would rather have people who promote wilderness content than clans making decisions because clans would make decisions for clans, you know? Like, they wouldn't want the mace yeah. to get patched. They would yeah, want no, like, you don't want... Here's the, here's the deal. You just don't want people that are that have an interest for themselves. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the there's got to be a balance. There's got to be a balance. You need, you need exactly. people that are, that are impartial, you know what I'm saying? But most people do have their own agenda. Whether yeah, and that's the problem. To do you don't want whatever. people it, that have their same, own agenda. Well, it's the same for, like, Wooks. So I'm sure that he has a, an agenda for things. Whoops. I don't think it's necessarily agenda. a bad <laughs> Wooks has hated agenda. But, <laughs> yeah. well, Wooks, I, agenda I think that having people from all content. kinds of different agendas wouldn't be a bad yeah. idea. You know, because then maybe they could try and like, well, like, like the word agenda. Want, That's what you okay, like. let me reword that. You want people that want you want people that can promote the longevity of the game in any aspect of the game. Exactly. You know, if it's like PKing, you need people that isn't gonna want to change the system so that it benefits them, but more so it change the system so that it's more popular for people to get into that activity. And that's right. what would be you know, wrong with the PK. Uh, that should be council, their agenda. Right? It's that you, they should you know, promote dude, the I, game. I just right? had a sick idea. Absolutely yeah. banger. Do you know that film, The Purge? I've never watched it, but I understand oh, yeah, the yeah, plot. Yeah, Do you yeah. haven't watched they should it? Have, they should have one yes, day a year. One day a year on Old School RuneScape where everybody huh. anywhere can be fucking attacked. Oh, you can have a hard cry, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then all the people that don't that day, read the updates. Hey, that's all new, man. Yeah, goodbye that to all the people that That would be the, the updates, best man. shit ever, man. Imagine, dude. That would be... Rapesy so wants the purge. That's fucking beautiful, dude. The purge. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Let's be fair. They should just make a purge world. You know what I'm saying? You mean a <laughs> PvP world? What, what We're getting somewhere, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> isn't that what it's like? What, oh, one day geez. a year, you can kill anybody on any level. You could even kill Jmod. That'd, so That'd be sweet. Oh man. And the yeah. bots wouldn't get the memo, so you could just slaughter the bots. No, because like, what I mean by like, you know, what we could do that sounds kind of cool because you can make a purge world where, where, where if you go in, um, everybody's on the same level, like the same type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't just bring stuff that you have from the original game to a PvP world. 
Because that's not fair, right? Like, if you. <laughs> no, it doesn't need hey, to be fair. It's not fair. I know, I know, I know. Like, and everybody, people, just, everybody starts at the same level. And for a day, <laughs> you're, you're, you just you're, do whatever. Now you're describing your dead man mode. Come like on, man. Not, except it's one day. It's dead man mode that lasts one day. That's pretty much it. Can you imagine <laughs> that content, mate? That would blow RuneScape up. That was a bunch of content horrible. creators yeah, roaming around one Salador day, you know, and shit, dude. Just looking for shit. 24 hours, man. 24 hours. And you get an email? To let you know that it's happening, so you, it's up to you whether you log in or not. On you, man. Uh, yeah, the bankers are there. Like, like, a, like, you know, with the folly drop party where the bankers said it's like the purge will begin in 10 minutes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah. You just have like a big ass timer on the top of your game. You know? It's like oh, just counting. Why aren't we oh, okay. JMods, dude, with these ideas? Fuck this. We don't even need to pull it. I just pass it right off to Mod Ash. We'd be good. Oh. Yeah, well, limited time events aren't as bad, you know? If it's limited time. Didn't they try a limited time event with, um, there was like a gay pride event, and oh my god, that shit like. Oh, uh, yeah, but that that's because anytime queer related stuff happens, it's <laughs> Can't like. Can you pick a better know. word? <laughs> <laughs> what, dude? I, I'm trying to, you know, give some variety, man. Come on. Yeah, what is the correct word for. Uh... I don't know, but I swear that word was too used in high school to use it now. It just. <laughs> Homosexuals, that's, that's not. That's I, no longer I don't, a slur, dude, I have it, no man? idea. I don't know, man. <laughs> Yeah, you get you get what I'm saying. Yeah, but that's because yeah. you know it's a controversial thing. So it's not that controversial. It's just shitty people online. That's, that's yeah. it. It's just shitty people. It's not controversial at all, but just shitty ass people. I know. Yeah, a lot of people just don't want that stuff in the game. Whatever. Yeah. But so, yeah, we should uh, we should be able to appoint our council for different categories. You know, I actually I saw somebody tweet. And it said uh, you should only be able to vote on polls. Uh, if it's a PvP poll, you have to have like 200 kills. And if it's like a PVM, you got to have you know a certain amount of kills on bosses. And then skilling, you have to have a certain total level. And I had this fucking idea two years ago. Except what I did was uh, you could choose which account you want. And you'd have to have like a certain total level so you couldn't just spam it. And every time you <clears> vote <throat> towards your category, it'd be one full vote. But if you voted towards another category, it'd be like one third of a vote. Because it doesn't affect you as much, but you still have a vote. That's the same damn idea yeah. I had. Yeah, so we're waiting. It'd be easily boostable. Back to the purge idea. I just had a cracking idea. How yeah, about the only wonderful. people the only people that can be attacked Mate. within those 24 hours are people that within the last year have had a strike on their account for breaking the <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, dude. That'd and like the more strikes they've had, the bigger the skull is. I don't know. Something like uh, that. Okay, okay. The yeah. purge idea, I like it. How would that, that be work. easily boostable though, Racy? But you just said if you need 200 kills in the wieldy to vote on a PK. And no, no, that's their idea. Times. That wasn't my idea. That was their idea. Yeah, oh, no, I, okay. honestly, you know what it is, man? I, I've been preaching all about, like, oh, yeah, hide the polls and stuff. I mean, it's true. You know, that, that will never be not true. But at the same time, I honestly think they should just turn that shit into um, a feedback system and not yeah. just uh, whatever ha whatever gets reaches a certain random-ass number. Feedback gets system. Passed. You mean like when you report somebody and nothing happens, the feedback system no, works but, so No, but the well. thing is, is like the the thing is, is like you can keep the format the same, right? Like you you know, people still choose certain options, yes or no, whatever. But at the end of the day, <clears throat> like we just don't want that number if it reaches a threshold to be a yes or no. We want them, you know, have them think about that, right? Sit on it themselves and then make a decision, right? Based on whatever was the result, right? We let so instead of just like 71% yes or and 29% no, and then that's like, oh, because, you know, that, that didn't reach 75%, that's a fail. For them, to them, they can look at it and be like, okay, you know what? The community looks like they're, 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 they, they're favoring this, but, you know, they, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, they gotta bounce You can, kind of, you can kind of argue that they do that at the moment, though, because they, they do repull things. Like yeah, but see, to bring it's life so shit. It, but... Yeah, the, this, the, the more the reason why it should be a feedback system because what's the point if you're just going to repoll it and, and try to retrust yeah, it yeah, in yeah, a I different so. question? Yeah, I agree. This a is a shitty system. And the feedback isn't bad, but the problem we run into again is that most of the J mods are, you know, Iron Man, PVMers. Uh, there's not going to be much yeah, feedback yeah, for the yeah. PKers mm -hmm. again, right? There needs to be some I sort mean, of J mod for that only. For that to actually yeah i'm i mean like i feel like ultimately with the help of players giving them adequate feedback they'll they'll make you know better I'm choices scared than of that for pkers because obviously the top pkers are going to be like clan leaders and you know they're not going to promote the wild you ever go oh dude rot's in the wildy let me just join on and that sounds fun no you know i mean you have I'm a bunch sure of single work. single P pvpers that are you know well known they they can they definitely have a, a good pool of influence 
I don't know, you know any like single PKers that, that aren't directly tied to like some sort of big clan. So that's why that's what that's where the problem comes from. It's like well, uh, well, I think well, well, I don't I think know clans what, what, be active as well though. Like like a lot a lot of people in clans probably want the same things that you want. Like, mm, like yeah, slightly. Yeah, they definitely sort of care for the wild, but they also care for that clan dynamic and a lot of the wilderness that doesn't really promote wilderness yeah like you know spearing what I mean? or whatever you yeah. see he's talking about stuff like spearing probably you know like things I'm, that you can do as because the wilderness, yeah. wilderness is like an all everything goes kind of thing that's why people like it but you also want to kind of make sure people go into it so you can have some people to slay right yeah just well like, i'm just saying i feel like a fee uh, just a overall like turn completely turn into a feedback system is better than just using a poll that you one you can see results and two you have a random ass number set as a threshold because like there's no there's nothing to to make 75 percent as a threshold better than something like 50 percent you know or like 60 percent it's just a random number that they yeah, decided to mean. go with right i it think, it was, no I think real... it was good for the start of runescape but yeah it was, it was good because it made people Definitely. feel like people cared back then <laughs> yeah yeah it was good because it made it made people feel like they had a big say in the game but but now it, you can tell it's just a clusterfuck you know yeah, just, I, th I yeah. think back in the day as well, a lot of people were just worried that it's just going to be the same thing overnight. Oh, AOC is here. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, like, like the pull system. It, it stops even, that happening, basically. Yeah, yeah. The pull system, like the first two years of OSRs was actually really um, conservative. Like the people that voted on it, because most things just wouldn't even pass, period. Even if it's like yeah. slight quality of life, it typically wouldn't pass because most people would be like 50% on most things, 50-50. But yeah, now it's more like eh, you know we're all used to anything, so we're, we're we're more than likely for anything that benefits us, quality of lives or whatever. Anything that doesn't benefit the majority gets knowed. You know, anything that benefits yeah. the majority yeah. gets yes, seventy five percent over. So yeah, I think it's because overall the game has just got more casual. Like yeah, yeah, it's more casual, <laughs> more PVM based. Oh, yeah, which I like. Which is which is lot. which is which is good, but at the same time, like yeah, but we can't have understand that. The yeah, we can't have issues. that majority group just keep voting yes for everything. Yeah. yeah so yeah so yeah at this point it's definitely not not something here's a sweet thing anymore. to bring up right here is that yeah this lately mm -hmm. a lot of people have been noticing that the auto hotkey scripts have gotten a lot more noticeable with uh like uh, oh yeah absolute switching already predicting their opponent's prayers like some of these scripts are to the point where you're not going to kill him if he's using this shit and it doesn't matter if he's good or not you just not yeah it's that like him. the new clients or is it somebody actually coding? It's a it's AHK, I think. Well, there's 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 two separate issues. I think it's AHK yeah. for like switching into a Gmail to a vengeance, use press switch, like four way, like all in one tick, which yeah, is yeah. like insane. I mean, it's, it's technically possible. possible, but like, but like, you gotta be you really to be incredibly good. highly skilled. Yeah, like that, it's just yeah. like random people can't do that. Yeah. Some of the shit the I'm seeing there's... is actually impossible to do. Like some of the yeah, oh, like, yeah, the, 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 the one where it's changing the prayers for you. Like what the hell? Yeah, like, yeah. Like how can you change prayers prayer and then do another click at the same time? I wish I know? could show but, you guys this clip, but I saw this absolute was like barrage Elder Maul G Maul and all in one tick from like five <laughs> scores yeah. away, and the guy like. You know, that's it. Just armor just kind of switched like this, and the guy died. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. fuck that. You know, I ain't going in PvP world no more. Yeah, and then it's the one which like has the overheads. If they're wearing a crossbow, it'll put the range on. I mean, if you want it, you can get round it. But at the same time, like, it's pretty difficult to one take every single attack. So it yeah. So PvP. so one problem is. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about there. this. <laughs> See, the PvP and then, community and then is all, so there's, fucked right now. <laughs> there's, the other there's one. Also, there's also the clients. So you yeah. have like a Except special client. So, for example, is it when you the, free somebody, um, like, or whatever? Yeah, yeah like uh, I don't know, if, I don't know if it's Exilent or not. I, I'm uh -huh. not sure which client does which, but like it's like the special plugins on Runelite as well. There's loads of shit. Uh -huh. like, if you free somebody, you can just like run next to a tree, and then you get them in a glitch spot, and you can attack them, but they can't attack back. So that's like a pretty bad problem with breeding. Like, yep. I think it's pretty nice <laughs> in depth. I've it happens quite a lot there. Some so, people like, air they, they really need to fix oh my that. God. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, no, but the, but like it literally highlights on the floor, like where you're gonna stand to standing in a glitch spot. These clients, so it's just like, well, That's if you're fighting yeah, like, somebody with that, there's no point. You, they can tell you where like the the opponent can't reach you. I think there was a yeah, but basically, they basically, they basically, yeah, they they tell you where to stand so the opponent can't attack you back, but you can attack them. So you could just sit there with smite up. Like, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's, so, that's broken. broken. Holy the, fuck. The issue here is the clients Holy. themselves. They have. There seems to be way two too, issues, right? Way too there's much too power. Much, there's too much power with these clients, right? So yeah, I remember watching yeah. Ditter Bitter's videos on Deadman Mode, and there's there was like a barrage timer above oh, his yeah. opponents. They told him when oh, his yeah. opponents, <laughs> that, shit, that shit on its own is overpowered. Apparently yeah, there's been a crazy. client 
that you can actually track the world that players hop to. And that's how um, fools were killing a lot of the Ultimate Iron Men in Edgeville. That's so much because broken shit. They knew yeah, what world dude. they were going to be in and stuff like that. Like, yeah, it that's really a... is a client issue. And Jagex oh, needs huge. to, like, yeah, that's they, they there, needs to there needs to be a line. There needs to be a line. And a lot of this shit's way over the line. Yeah, I, it's, it's just way like, over the man, line. it's just like the the game itself I mean, is so easy to mod i guess for clients side things yeah, it's like the also press switching like yeah, yeah. I, I feel like it's only going to get addressed when people just start using it for inferno like, it, oh, like i don't yeah, think man. they're like they're not going to address it until people start using it for PvP. Well, you use that for inferno? Hey, you, dude. i mean you must be able to <laughs> like if you can yeah if, I don't if, see if why you not. just see if the game can like you can read from the game what uh, uh weapon the opponent's got then you can read what monsters attacking you so why yeah. can't you do it for inferno but it's just like a bot. Once, yeah. yeah. Once that happens, people will give a shit. Once that happens, people will give a shit, sadly. Yeah, yeah I mean, but like, if, like... if it's just using PvP and like by like a couple thousand people, I don't think Jax will do that. Yeah, it's hard that. because those people aren't going to say shit anyways. Like, they're, they're, they're not going to be like, ban all third party clients because then everyone's going to be like, well, what the fuck? Like, what do we do? Yeah. Like, that's well, they, they need to. If but they, say, like, they probably need to. They probably need to. Like, Yeah, man. It's got way out of hand. I remember back in the day with PKM, the only issue there was, and a very few people would do this, they had AHK set up, which would auto switch them, like, say, six or eight switches for hybriding. So they click one button and they'd be in mage and they'd yeah. one tick barrage you. And then they'd click the other button and they'd be in full melee whipping you. That was an issue, but it wasn't huge because if you were good at hybriding, you could outsmart them and they'd fuck up and you could kill them. But with yeah. this stuff, where they don't even need to be on their prayer book, and as soon as you pull out an AGSG more combo, they pray melee without even clicking it, that's fucked. Like completely yeah. fucked. That needs to be Wait, fixed. Wait, it, could it? Does it auto change your prayer? Yeah, yeah. Th yeah there was yeah, a clip. You, I just, just tried. Okay, okay. I just tried to watch the video, but the guys removed it off of YouTube. Ian um, shared it. I retweeted it, and yeah. some guy goes in for an AGS G more on him, and he's in his inventory. And as soon as that AGS and G more comes out, his prayer goes to pray melee, <laughs> hit zero zero, and then he clicks his AGS and then his G more without going to a special bar, and he does the combo in one tick. From oh his inventory God, without without using FTs. Literally All right, just man. From his that, basically, you're just having a robot PK for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's it's so dumb. Man. A real good robot, man. Oh what I'm concerned <laughs> about here is that it's just what not one PVP issue this week. It's like ten or twenty, and it's making. I don't even want to go out in the wild right now. That sounds like a <laughs> shitty time, and I know how to PK. You know what? <clears throat> these guys trying to learn how yeah. to PK, they're like, oh, yeah, I kind of want to learn. It looks really skill-based. And you see these people getting those auto switchers <laughs> and robots <laughs> and glitches and fucking regular magic sucks. And you're like, yeah, now nah, I'm going to just I go think back it's, to I Slayer. Think it's already I think it's already destroyed. Uh, my brother used to do a lot of risk fighting in World 337. And yeah. I think it's already destroyed quite a lot of that because it's like, well, yeah, yeah <laughs> like all, all this, all the, it. like it's there's quite high skill cap to it, but that's just been all taken away by HK. And yeah, stuff. and like people aren't getting banned, so it's like, well, I feel like the, the, the next step they're yeah, gonna do is they're gonna you know hire someone for PKing, dude, and only it's an PKing. actually serious issue, like, damn. yeah, you know, it's, it's like this is this is how serious. I see it. This is how this I see it working out. If Jagex can detect the AHK, which at the moment they clearly can't because this would have been dealt with. Then they'll have to do something else, which is going to be uh, contacting the third-party clients and having them either removed or removing those things which are in there. Because it's quite obvious their system isn't picking up this AHK because those accounts would have been banned, which they haven't. Therefore, yeah. they need to remove the third-party clients or they need to contact them and be like, hey, remove that shit, it's OP. Simple as that. Yeah. yeah, something needs to be done. I think I think part of the problem is with like Runelight, you can make your own custom plugins as well. Yeah, yeah. So like some of the <laughs> like, so yeah. like, well. <laughs> yeah, your heart they're... was in the right place, but it didn't work out. Yeah, no, that's yeah. the that's the flaw of the open source nature, because like what what's going on right now is, say you know you you know how to code the uh, the client stuff, you make crazy plugins, you can make it for yourself, you, you, you and nothing happens, you know, nothing happens to you. Like the Rune Light yeah. boys, the main guys that are in charge of like checking out what yeah. plugins should go to the main client, the real Rune Light client, they don't know what you're doing. Like, you know, yeah. in your own time with the clients. 
So, like, you could just make your own shit and, like, share it to other people. Yeah, but there's, like, discords of people in with all these, like, extra things. And they're just like, oh, yeah, use this one. It's like, oh, fuck. Yeah, like, they can share around themselves. And then the main people (laughs) that run the room, like, they can't do anything about it. I would hate to stomp on that creativity, man, but, like... I mean, it's a a creator bot simulator. That's all it is. Yeah, yeah. So, so you can just make your own bot. That's a drawback, you know? Yeah, yeah, I'm not talking about, like, the evil ones. I'm talking about, like, some of the fun ones. But, yeah, I get you. Yeah, yeah. But some people, you know, obviously, create their own shit and it's it's like super broken like those things the auto prey yeah. stuff and they can share it you know they could probably share it to other people and yep. yeah i'm still you gotta think i'm a little impressed still you know what i mean like that's pretty sick. like people it know how to fucked, code but it's, yeah like <laughs> I mean, auto prayer switching and shit that's got to take some some big old jimmy neutron brain right there like i don't even dude, know yeah man you gotta it's be a, a pretty it's impressive brother. Yeah. But like you gotta think, is it detrimental to the game's integrity? Oh fuck yeah! Oh, it is. 100%. oh definitely, one hundred percent. I mean, I mean, it needs to go. I mean, oh, you got twenty thousand dollar tournament coming up with Dead Man. Like, oh, I'd and love to see that all all come all in the game. Protecting there. from switches. Oh, the thing uh, is, yeah. you you will be very. It'd be very easy to detect if one's actually using that plugin because all you yeah. need to do take range, mage, and melee. Switch to those weapons and see if they instantly switch their prayers like instantly. If that's the case, then it's pretty clear yeah. that they're yeah, using but it. yeah, they can Unless also kind of machine. But there's yeah. human yeah, error. But, then so there's, that, but how, how 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 can Jagex prove it? It's, it's like when Rot won whatever it was, 10k for coming second and DDoS in. Jagex can't prove it. So, so they still hard. got paid. Yeah. But they well, should be able to put some big boy pants detection, on, you know? That's very assuming. Oh, yeah, with the bot, yeah, with bot detection. Yeah, that's different, actually, to be fair. Yeah, it is, it is yeah. slightly different. That's I mean, point. if it's like uh, if it's in house, then they can't cheat, you know. If we, but if it's like an online, online tournament, then you know they can get away with a lot. Of yeah. Things, you know? Just Man, just as as shown in dev mo tournaments. That if that stuff happens in the new dev mo tourney, like I'll holy laugh. shit, oh, that's man. gonna go down so bad, man. Holy I mean, like, imagine... and also even before the tourney, leading up to the tourney, a lot of people can abuse this stuff. And people you know? make trash accounts for the alts on Dead Man, so I'm pretty sure they wouldn't really give a shit. Even like, I'm not gonna make it to the tournament. Let's just slap it, take a couple people who actually yeah, people might make it, and then just get banned anyways because it's an alt account. Yeah, I I, I, I'd, I'd hope it's not really an issue just because it's such a small amount of fights that you should be able to pick it up. But I don't know. I, yeah, I played a lot of De- I, I played a lot of Dead Man, and I knew a lot of cheating goes on, which goes unpunished. So it's like, all right. yeah. <laughs> like even, even with even, they can't even monitor the cheating for like two thousand players. So I just think that anti cheating is yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's not like, it's not like for a competitive tournament, like people yeah. like they're swapping stuff and like it's that multi- it's a players. meme, dude. It's yeah, there's just too the many. So so like so like that. you think about the stuff going on in the wider game, like they're probably scratching the surface with what they're actually catching. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> really. Yeah. You just hire like, me as a jailer. I'll I mean, be out there they, as a rock, just just they, waiting they for people cheat, to fuck up. Right? They're they're more specialized in dealing with reward trades, like botting, you know, those things, right? But like PvP is so so unscathed, you know. The RWT a lot of shit thing, man. I agree, they should be strict on it. But game integrity wise, it's not too much. You know, it's like who's like, oh, is that guy buying gold? Fuck, I don't want to play this game anymore. You know, it's not. Game breaking <laughs> to that point. Well, you go in the wild, you see people just one ticking out of nowhere in, in risk fights. You're like, yeah, I don't want to play this game anymore. That's yeah. The, the, they need the to swap there. their they need to swap their priorities exactly. from RWT in to things that are damaging the game. Because I completely understand as a business why they're so on oh, top of agreed. RWT. Yeah. Because they already have their RWT market, which is bonds, and they don't want a competitor. So you know, you buy a hundred mil illegally, it costs you half the price. You get banned for it. Shit, what am I going to do? Oh, I'll do it the safe way and I'll buy the bonds worth of 100 mil. It's going to cost me twice as much, but I'm not going to get banned for it. It makes complete sense, but they do need to focus on these other issues. Their bot detection clearly isn't picking up AHK. It hasn't done for a really long time. It picks out specific people and people have been known to be banned. Yeah, you know what it is? They need to get on top of it. You know, you know, the thing with AHK is like you can make it like run so many different styles of like scripts right so i i think what they what's going on is probably they can detect hk but only up to certain patterns yeah like, if it's not if it's only it. once then you're not going to be able to detect it yeah if it's like a really times. unique pattern then they probably can't detect it you know if, yeah. if, like it probably can detect like a cluster of like a similar type of like hk scripts because like you know yeah. you know how like if you try to scale with it you can probably you know like have you, on how have, it is you can get probably have get you guys th- th- this also like makes me question how good they are have you guys ever seen the 
the YouTube series where it's botting to max, max stats. Yeah, I've seen a couple yeah, episodes. He's like, he's like back and he's quite far along again. Like, <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> 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 Sakes, <laughs> Jesus, but no, I, I've used AHK in the past when uh, it what was fuck, legal, Rixie? technically. Oh, okay, okay. What, what, I don't like that. Yeah. Back when it was fine, I had to <laughs> yeah, get yeah, I used to use it as well. I had to get 77 <laughs> runecraft and to get myself no DK boat. Guess what? That shit was fucking hard to master, man. Even with AHK, you could fuck up. You know what I mean? It was difficult, and I wouldn't say what I did was like against the game integrity whatsoever. Gave me a slight advantage, but you had to be good at doing it it wasn't just like i pressed one button and it did everything i had to press but several like, buttons you know to like move the yeah, mouse depending on the com how complicated of the things you want that's, to do. That, that's yeah. still allowed though like like how you used it is still legal today like yeah if it's one to shit. one right yeah. Wait, that's still allowed i just thought ahk was like in general if you, if, no. well, if, you, if, you, if you use windows mouse keys because they have to allow to allow for disabled people to play the game with, yeah if it's uh, one to one keys. like yeah it's usually so, okay but I, th I think I think it's they only move a certain distance or something, so you can't really make a custom distance. So you shouldn't use a HK. You should use yeah. the mouse keys. Yeah. Yeah, or mouse keys are fine if it's Windows mouse keys. It, honestly, even like the third party ones, I haven't heard people say they got banned for it. Just because whatever, it uh, works the same. Way. They, they just they just have to say banned. they just have to say HK is valuable because yeah. otherwise someone will press one and it'll do four things in your inventory. Yeah, 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 yeah. The which, moment which you, go, like, you go beyond valuable. one and one, it's already yeah. I mean, he'll um, still do it. You know, some people do it, and obviously they don't get caught. But I, I would say some, some other people get caught depending on how they do their scripts, right? Like what they're doing, yeah. the pattern. And the thing is, Jarek's still never tell you what they're doing because it helps the cheaters. Yeah, they'll yeah, like, they get heard. Yeah. So, so we can never really fully understand yeah, the which situation. I like. You know, I gotta keep it sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You know, it would be <laughs> sneaky though, man, if they just hired like a hacker and an assassin, you know, with some of their big bucks they made and just took out the gold selling sites, you know? Fuck an assassin. Uh, <laughs> assassin. Let's kill these people How in real life. Gold selling be? assassins. And then they'd be like, yeah, I can't buy gold anymore. The websites aren't working. And then you just, oh shit, Tom's dead. And then the, the word would spread, you know, don't sell gold. You fucking clack, clack, motherfucker. <laughs> right? Okay, that sounds like some sort of Netflix. And then they could work on PvP shit. <laughs> who's gonna, who's gonna like track them down, right? No one's gonna track them down. You get like fucking my jet hacking like he's fighting back i don't fucking man, know that, okay okay Ooh. man that's that's like some netflix original though I'm, honestly dude, hire me i would watch that take us a goal and, you know oh dude so, yo i just got a call termination you know <laughs> what bogla <laughs> all right <laughs> <laughs> it's like what my cousin what? you should have <laughs> you shouldn't say that name man <laughs> no know, sorry i mean that i mean it so hard sorry yeah okay yeah, no, well, no I think I think the thing they could probably tackle is the client ones, the because what which clients are doing? I I, is I it mean, just well, like custom clients? I, I'm, or... I'm, I'm, I don't know enough about it, but yeah. I think sure, surely it's just going to become a bigger and bigger issue. I think when it yeah. reaches, like I said, when it reaches PVM, it'll be like, well, yeah, yeah, that's when when that, might be, that might be a few, that might be a few months. Yeah, though, when all the butt hurt Inferno capers, you know, I was like, yo, what is this, man? I bet what it'll cheating? be like in a week, yeah. people start yeah. doing it, and then like in a month, people start finding out about it, you know. Yeah, because but I, I think I I honestly would want them to br I want them to bring the normal client up to scratch and then ban thirty part third party clients. I know, that, yeah. I know it's probably like yeah. I know it's probably controversial opinion. It, it really I think is. That's oh, no, the only way. That's the only way you can ensure that it's everyone's only playing. controversial. Yeah. It's because the RuneScape community came from like a hardcore base where it's like oh you gotta grind everything out you gotta do it from scratch you gotta do all this shit and now we're really soft like i don't want to quest yeah, let me no, just watch I'm a guide definitely. i don't want to skill yeah. i just want to click and all these people are say, trying to protect that softness right but yeah, this game's base of players is hardcore nowadays, you know a majority of the yeah. player base is definitely not as um old school <clears throat> you know yeah, yeah. definitely I th not i think just, just just take the just take the best uh cl Things from Rune Light or whatever, then put them on the normal cloud. I think they can totally get away yeah. with that. They, totally. They they they, they, they bypass the polls anyway. Like remember when it failed the poll that you can rearrange your prayers? I can yeah. just open my Rune Light <laughs> right now and, and change my whole prayer book round. <laughs> like yeah, I choose not know, to like, change it out of integrity. It's, it's, it's yeah. bypassing <laughs> the polling systems and everything. Yeah. Yep. There's only three things I need from a third party client, and if they gave this to the original game client, I'd be happy to use it. Yeah. Bank value. Item overlay because I like to see items highlighted because it's pleasurable yeah. to the eyeball. On the ground, and, um, as I, I I kind of like boss timers, but mm. not absolutely I I wouldn't necessary. Need it. I wouldn't need to be so those with three boss things. Timer, to be fair, that that's literally you all I need. Jagex, but I could do without the boss timers. Jagex should just yeah. hire 
the uh, rune light or some of these people who make the clients for their own clients i mean they have this is like the best year for jack okay. right now they so, should use some of that money instead of dead end mode to hire people to revamp the yeah. client and then so anytime this, they try to update it they could just decline if it's too overpowered like uh, auto hotkeys etc you know you know you know what i think the philosophy behind this whole third party controversy kind of like with, with with how jagex views it from a business standpoint is that it's not worth their time and money to work on their client because other people can make yeah. their clients for free but there's you know, obviously I, I think that's that's and now it's biting them in the ads and now it's biting them i think them that's ads, a dude. bad business model because of the fact that the third party people are third party right they don't need to necessarily follow any real regulations a lot of it's just up to them right so however they they want to view it like the whole rune light thing it sounds good right like in the surface because oh you ha you can have so many people offer from like all around the world they can just pitch in ideas contribute make some cool updates and then you know port it into like the main rune light client and then everybody can use it right yeah but, but because it's open source nature you have flaws because people can just make their own shit and they can spread it themselves they don't need the actual third party managers to manage their own clients because they can just make their own. They can split that shit anywhere. So I think this is yeah. what's happening right now. It's I the spillover of that. Yeah, their minds are in the right stuff. place. Just like the internet yeah. when it came out. Oh, they're going to share yeah. ideas. The next thing you know, a lot of porn. <laughs> you know, and they didn't. They're like they didn't accompany for that. You know, just shit just happened. You think they're gonna sneak yeah. in? Yeah, they had their heart in the right place, then all of a sudden titties. You know? It's yeah, just... I, I think, I think in terms of how they view the 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 whole client business is, it's just their 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 strategy is only short term effective because yeah, you've, you've right. so, I think you summed it up perfectly there. Yeah, definitely. it's short term because it allows a lot of people to you know want to play the game because a lot of people are used to like playing MMOs that have more th things showing up on the screen, right? Like, have you ever played, uh, uh, like, any other MMO, like a Korean MMO? Roblox? Right. Oh, you know, you know how much shit is on the in the screen? Like, all yeah, the uh, buff insane, timers, dude. overlays. So, yeah. like, a lot of those crowd, they, they like that stuff, you know? So, yeah. so they offer that, you know, all these clients offer that, and people, a lot of people come to play the game literally for these clients. But at the I same mean, time, they could have, they should have just done it themselves. Jagger should have done it themselves. Because... They could hire people though, and then overview it just yeah, like that's construction the thing. It's workers. It's money, right? It's just money. They don't want to spend they money have, on it. They, this is the best quarter. Yeah, that's and literally I think that's the spend flaw. it. They're spending it on mm -hmm. like advertisement, dev memo. That's fucking fantastic. Yeah. They're flying out content yeah, so creators. What I'm saying, the content yeah. creators have money. They could buy their own flights. Yeah. But either way, dude, let's spend it on the fucking client, man. You know yeah, yeah, exactly. Perfect. I agree with you. Yeah, to them, it's like from from for some reason their business standpoint. It seems that it's is not it, worth their time. Is it because of Chinese but overlords? In reality, it should it should be worth their time to work on their client. Are, aren't they in the transition of like selling the company again? Is that right? I heard that. Yeah, like yeah, ago. yeah. But I don't know if that's ha um, if, if that will impact. Blizzard, no, I'm kidding. But <laughs> it, I, what 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 I'm saying is, if yeah. they're in like the transition of doing that, that you know shit's up in the air right now so maybe yeah. they haven't got the resources or whatever yeah. to be able to do much I'm, i mean to be fair you know old school's been out for like what six years they 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 could have definitely worked on their clients more throughout the span of six yeah. years that's why i'm just say. i'm just thinking about like when you're just talking about korean games with all the overlay i was thinking about world of warcraft yeah world of warcraft there, too they have a bunch too right there was a third, third party itself. client you could get which was called curse when i played it for a very short amount of time it just made everything simplistic. It would tell you, like, you know, how long your opponent was frozen for, when you should use this spell, when you should use that. And I don't think it was ever dealt with. I think it was just left. You know what I mean? But it was considered, yeah, like, it was um... considered a good thing. And I feel like the mentality with World of Warcraft players compared to RuneScape with, wow, it's like the easier, the better. This is just making it convenient for us. Whereas us as old school players, we realize that it takes a lot of skill to get to a certain point of being good yeah, at the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And these third-party clients with all of these add-ons kind of take away that skill. Exactly. You they know what I'm saying? diminish it entirely. Entirely. So, yeah, because, like, a lot of the more casual players, they think hindrance isn't a skill, whereas old-school players, actually, a lot of the, re you know, the real old-school players, they actually treat all the little, like, shitty layout problems and yeah. all the, like, random delays and, and, like, you know, somewhat borderline glitches as a skill-based thing. Hindrances yeah. are a skill for us. Dude, so, it pisses me off so much. Yeah. Do you know how fucking bad I was at this game until I got good? 
Exactly. Do you know how long yeah. it took me to get yeah. good at this fucking I game? You, I spent my childhood on this game perfecting the art of being a fucking mm. runescaper, and now some yeah. stupid third party client can train your fucking prey and fuck you up. Ain't <laughs> yeah. fair, man. Ban them all, delete it. Don't yeah, like no, it, get yeah. rid of it, man. So, it needs to be dealt with ASAP. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It does make it makes me angry. I'm actually really pissed off just sat here like brewing in hate, man. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean because I, I think eventually, like uh, I hate using the term eventually because it could be like in a hundred years, but I feel like pretty soon, you know, we're gonna have to face the the whole third party client issue, like yeah, like super seriously, not not like not like just bring it up once in a while because some new you know hot like prediction PVM you know option comes out and then it'll brew over and then people forget about it. like I mean like ongoing you know like the yeah. whole whole result you know. Like I mean, it's crazy because I I, I don't know I'm, it's gonna sound cocky because I I feel like I predicted some things that was bound to happen because I remember two years ago um three years ago I taught I like I I literally remember posting on Reddit like I don't post anymore I only posted like four times or something Reddit's but like I remember game. one time I posted on Reddit talking about how stuff like um, wireframes and Zora and shit their drop tables were unsustainable because it, like it was too much right like how much of those things that they drop. And and Zora gets nerfed a billion times. Like this, like it's on its third nerf. And then you know I'm talking about like the poll results. I've been talking about that shit for years, and like yeah. they're finally announcing that they're gonna get rid of it. it. It's like it's it still takes them too long though. You know I feel like the third party thing that they're gonna yeah. have to deal with that. At some I point. see where you're coming at because they're growing so rapidly that yeah. they don't have a very firm base anymore to the point where they just keep updating. They gotta come back and kind of strengthen the foundation. Or it's gonna yeah, crumble. no, they gotta re-solidify what old school really is. You know, Seriously. they have to remember what old school really is. You know, right. and it's definitely not faster <clears throat> XP rates. It's definitely not making all the U, uh, UI and stuff more uh, simplistic. And it's not about bypassing all the little little yeah, dialogues. It's about you know? it's like, that's bots, not what old school is about. Yeah, we need our yeah. old shit back. I I think yeah. that's a really interesting point you just brought up about how RuneScape's growing right now, and it's the biggest it's ever been because yeah. I. I, I hate to say this because I've always kind of enjoyed... I, I like the polling. I don't like the polling system, but I like the idea about yeah, it. I like that we get a say, etc. Yeah. But considering that RuneScape's growing at such a rapid rate right now, and it's the biggest it's ever been, I personally feel that Jagex needs to just take hold of the fucking reins. They need to do what they do by gut feeling. Because they haven't really made any fuck-ups. Like, they have made here like some here or there, but they've corrected them. They need to own this game right now, and they need to do what they know is right. Because if we've got such an influx of new players coming into the game that are voting on things that, you know, some players might have only been playing for like a month and now they're voting on shit that they have no idea about. Agreed. And it's failing because of that. Yeah, because like, that's it's, an issue. It's because a lot of the new people, they don't they don't understand the alien <clears throat> concept of old school, you know? Like, they don't the know true what they've meaning got behind old school and what keeps it, what makes it popular, right? Yeah. So, so like, the very people that like to play this game... They sometimes don't realize that a lot of the things that they want removed from the game or e made easier is actually actually taking away from the prestige of the old school RuneScape feeling, right? Which is stuff like, you know, slow achievements that take a lot of time. Like yeah, when I see a skill cave, that are really I don't annoying. even care anymore, you know? It's yeah. just like, eh, you know, I want to come on 99 party? Eh, yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, but, you know, exactly. It's like, yeah. it's yeah, cooking, bro. Come on. You know, I, give this I shit. mean, dude, as soon as I got my Infernal Cape, I felt far superior from anybody wearing a Yeah, it's yeah, yeah awesome. exactly. <laughs> right now, there's like a, there's still a, I, like there's still some pretty. I mean, I'm not I'm, I'm not big into PKing, so I don't I don't know what what it makes, uh, what type of thing PKing you have to do to make yourself you feel like people. you're you're a cut above the rest. Talk shit. like, especially <laughs> right now, like you know, when it comes to skilling, um, if you have a max cape, right, that's still like pretty big deal. It's still it's still like pretty hard right now that if you get it, you still feel like a baller. But it definitely doesn't feel as prestigious as it was like three years ago. You know. Yeah, if I would compare it. overall has gotten so much easier. So so the, um, every year the the amount of people getting it uh, proportionally has been skewed, you know. Like I what was the first year? Like first year I don't think anybody maxed. Second year I think a few people maxed. Like third year like maybe uh 50 people maxed and stuff. And then like it kept going where it was like 100 people. I think now probably you know in these years a thousand plus people are maxing, right? Shorty Link's Titan Max in the first year, man. That dude plays like... I think, I, I, yeah, the, the I think Jeffro Max like nine months or something. 
nine months yeah something like oh that my right God, so that's insane so yeah but like nowadays i think we probably have over a thousand people maxing every year probably Fucking yeah yeah but that, that comes that comes with time as well like like, yeah, like, yeah I, but, I, I would never max if I didn't play for three years in a row. Like, yeah, no, but but then again, it's just the XP rates in the game have gone up a lot, right? Because like, there's a difference between a thousand people max versus like two to three people, you know? Yeah, I, th- I think it's a combination of. Yeah, both. it's a combination. Like, like, I, 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 like, also, there, also, there also, some... also, yeah, go ahead. Also, the attitude of people have changed. Like, yeah. you watch Boaty and he's done it, done his max cape. I reckon that. Yeah, had, yeah, such, yeah such that, that too. Well, that too. Like, definitely changed. Part, right? You go for a max cape. It's all yeah. about efficiency. Like, I don't, I don't disagree with that. There's, there's a few variables, uh, variables that are helping build up some of the, you know, the more older players to wanting to max. But like I'm saying, the the barrier to entry for maxing has gone down a lot because of how fast <clears> some of the skills have gone, right? And how accessible it is to train certain skills. I, I agree easily. on that. I mean, like back. And then, the day, like, yeah. uh, yeah, PVMing too. Like right now, it's the Inferno for the most part. You know, if you can do Inferno, you're you're, you're pretty much like on the topper on the upper end, right, of PVMing. Wait, who here has an Inferno cape? Oh, <laughs> we all do. Oh, except, uh, I, wait, Mitt, you don't have an Inferno cape. <laughs> what the yeah, fuck are you talking about, that. boy? I got an Inferno wait, so- cape, man. Yeah. Solo, do you not have an Inferno game? He does. Yeah, I've, got, I've got a pet, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, like, I remember that thumbnail. Yeah. I remember that yeah. thumbnail. That was a sweet yeah. thumbnail, bro. Yeah. So, yeah, there's that, you know, but I feel like skilling probably took the biggest hit out of, out of all the. Uh, all Back the in the designs. day, when I saw anybody with a skill cape, I was like, oh my God, that's sick. And nowadays, I'm like, God, that guy probably sucks at the game. Yeah, I'm not, not going to lie. Skilling cape, definitely. You know? Like, uh, skilling definitely lost a lot of uh, prestige throughout the years, whereas PVMing, a lot of I think I think the PVMers are very uh, up. PVMers uh, are taking over, dude. I mean, yeah, they're like they're also very obstinate on like making certain things easier, because like mm. you know like if it's like um, if 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 third parties try to make some sort of prediction timer for like the Inferno, you know how many people get pissed. Yeah, I mean that shit would already get overpowered cut off so for the fast. Inferno. You got where to step, where to go, timers. I that's it's. I mean, Inferno is still no, very I'm hard saying, to do. I'm saying but like if they made, I'm saying if ridiculous. like Runelite made a uh, a option where if you turn it on, it'll tell you like where certain things are spawning and shit like that, right? Like that it's would close. not fly, right? It's fucking. So, yeah, you, it you, already can, fly. you already can scout waves, like can't you, and stuff like that. Yeah, it's bullshit. No, but you have to log off. You have to like log off every wave or something. I don't really know exactly yeah, still, how it works. I just, it's it's pretty overpowered But, like, you now. can't really cheese it, uh, you know, as much, but... I, Dude, um, that doesn't sound fun, man. Like, what's the challenge in that? There isn't any yeah, challenge, no. man. It's just, no. when something's too hard, people don't want to step up to the challenge. We're all Inferno Cape boys, yeah. right? You know? Dude, I mean, <laughs> like, Stop it when I went for my Inferno Cape, man, I saw I probably lost like two, three years of my life in that week. <laughs> yeah. Like, I probably lost a shit ton of hair. I remember yeah, I almost... I almost broke down in fucking tears crying because I died to the single Jad twice in a row. I was a <laughs> tilted fucking monkey, dude. I wish you could have recorded all that, I was dude. so happy. I was, yeah, no, I'll say, I was so happy. It, Weren't you the seventh like, person who got it, or...? I was the 15th. Was That's really still like, insane, man. Yeah. I was yeah. 14th, well, you know, but... Do, do you want to know... So, <laughs> when I set out for it, I was like, I'm going to be the first person to get this. This is gonna be my cape, and I was like, I was like, I will be the first person to get this fucking cape. Obviously, I wasn't. We just got it in like three days. Which but, is um, insane. Fuck me. I, I was really upset because I managed to get it on the seventh day, so within the first week. But I was, I was in California, and I got it at like I think it was six or seven o'clock in the morning, and I believe it was like two hours after the threshold to be put on the list for the first week people to get the infernal cape. So I was like two hours out of that, dude. Oh, and I wasn't yeah. I wasn't put on the RuneScape homepage. So upset about that. And then yeah. I messaged I messaged one of the mods and I was like, like, what was my cape? And they said you were fifty. Still. And I was just like, all that's right. Sick. It's pretty good. I think Wooks yeah. had like three at that point, so Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, but um, not bad. Yeah, like I, I kinda <laughs> we kinda went off on the tangent, but I I was just saying like how how like skilling has has been devalued a lot when whereas pvming has been relatively unscathed for the most part like in terms of the high right? uh yeah you say that but at the same time like no, i feel like what you, 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 you gone to kbd with a t-bow and shit like at the start of oh the yeah no no but i'm, I'm well, talking yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of thing. i'm talking about more like third-party clients and stuff but oh you're right, right. Okay. you're right. You're right, yeah. though. You're right. I feel like PVM has been devalued a bit because stuff. Like I think it's. I think it's all inevitable that. It yeah, gets yeah. We need new updates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was. I really just wanted to, to really relate relate it back to skill. The clients, so, yeah. The clients. I've... 
so like because we've been talking about the clients so i was like thinking where like which feature of the clients has impacted which aspect of the game the most right <clears throat> i feel like i feel like third parties have impacted skilling the most and I feel like second would be like PVMing for a while, but like you know, PVMers are very obstinate. So it, so if shit, if they don't like something, like even even third parties won't be able to resist it. If you consider you know, uh, not the population of people who use it, but the impact, I'd say PKing is probably the most impacted now with those. Scripts. Yeah, yeah. Now I feel Definitely. like yeah, exactly. I was gonna bring up that point. I feel like PKing has has now been like impacted to such a crazy degree. But like the thing is, I don't know what makes PK like the like what makes you like exceptionally good PKer because I don't PK. Not so. using auto hotkey scripts. <laughs> yeah, killing, exactly. Uh, you, people you got like bit. that. You've got to like you got to, you got to enter the point of no return, man. You got to go to the <laughs> you got to go to the dark side, man. And then yeah. you finally come up against a worthy opponent that can fight you back and doesn't die within ten seconds. I say then, you're decent at PvP that's it. if you don't camp range for during a bridge fight. That's it. That's I it. That's probably, yeah, so. I, you're, I'd say you're good at PvP when you get to a point where you can predict what your opponent's going to do. When you start to be able to, being able to read them and you can use very cheap tactics to be able to kill them, such as just like pot AGS yeah, and stuff yeah, like, like that. Yeah, like fakies like, and shit. That, right? that doesn't make you good, but when you can predict what somebody else is going to do, I'd and say you get it right most of the time. You're, there... Yeah, you're a cut yeah. above. You're a cut okay. above. Thanks, I'd baby. Say that. Appreciate it. Yeah. So, so okay. That that's that's a good point then, because the since the third party clients have the ability to kind of circumvent that skill, then then yeah, it would be a major impact. It's like the case. three main yeah. things of skilling, like prediction. Like I'm trying to learn from timer, your freeze timers, dude, and all that shit is yeah. gone out the window. The only thing skillful now is like, can you eat up the full HP? It's not skillful at all. Yeah, bro. can you safe up, and then yeah. people call you safer. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Uh, Ree, I've got a question for you. Yeah. Uh, as somebody that's not a skiller at all, would you say that skilling now is better than what it was back in pre-OC? And also, the reason I asked that is because I remember skilling back in the day where, say, if you wanted to get 99 cooking, you would lose money getting that cape. Whereas nowadays, you actually make money. A How do you feel money. about skilling okay. now compared I mean, to that? I mean, it's, it's, um, it's a pretty tough one. But, but like, in original RuneScape, I remember, I, I feel like there were a few big updates that kind of, like, just changed how leveling became how easy leveling became because like you know even in original runescape it was slow of uh, uh you know in the beginning right 2007 type of stuff but then at some point i think maybe around 2010 and onwards because i remember they introduced stuff like penguin hide and seek they introduced stuff like um yeah yeah, yeah. the squeal of fortune where like literally if you uh, kill something lit. If you kill, uh, thing. if yeah. you if you if you kill like um, for example a boss or do anything, you randomly get like a a squirrel fortune ticket, right? And then you can like roll that shit and get like XP lamps, right? Stuff like that, and like effigies. If you, I don't remember the oh, effigies. Bring bring back brawling gloves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like the the, the so... effigies, the the brawling glove stuff. I feel like around that time, the XP rates for and skilling in general, like because because you know what it was. During that time, I was I barely skilled. I just peep on the side, but it didn't matter because I would just do my weekly high and seek stuff. I get free XP on anything, on any skill I want. I get like fifty k, whatever. Are those like and then I, was, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, like weekly. Like that. Cause I, and I then I would do like um, shit. and then I would like do some bossing. I would get like an effigy, and then I would get like a squeal squeal fortune thing. And all of those were literally just passive XP in like ten thousand, twenty thousand, thirty thousand on any skill I wanted, right? For the most part. So like. So like those three years, I played the game. I only PVM, but for some reason, I still somehow got base nineties, like skills, yeah. and I didn't train most of them. I I didn't. I just did not train. So like that's how easy it was. So like, geez, that's, that's when it started going downhill, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. When that's they when brought out effigies and stuff, that busted. I remember Suomi yeah. uploaded a video, and he was yeah. like, "How are you?" And he was just sat there for like twenty hours a day, killing these monsters that dropped effigies at a high rate. He didn't even skill. That's yeah, literally exactly. what he did. He just cannoned so, them and sat there and took the effigies. So, so I just it was want a to talk, simpler like, day. <clears throat> so, what I want to compare isn't like pre two thousand ten. I would say it's probably like two thousand ten onwards. RuneScape three, that's when it got super easy. And then like uh, old school, I say I feel like old school right just now. Just waiting for that isn't squeal there. of fortune, there, man. Yeah, I feel like old school right now, even six years later, is not there yet in like the two thousand ten RuneScape 
type of skilling XP wise, like in terms oh of God. how passive it is. I think I think I think all the thing is of old school, a lot of the XP rates have gone up because people have discovered tick manipulation methods more. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Which, like, they've been they've been there the like, whole time. Yeah. But now, now, yeah. it's, now it's the method to like two tick ticks yeah, or yeah. whatever. I like, like, like two tick and yeah. stuff. I like just hate how it's like, uh... just AFK and stuff. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And slow missions, right? Because a lot of like the higher end methods are tick manipulation. And and a lot of people don't do that, right? A lot of people are more yeah. casual. They're LFK, so it's like more. It's pretty balanced in that way because if you put in more effort, you deserve max speed, which I think yeah. is completely fine. And I at the same quite time, like how is yeah. The and and at the same time, right now we don't have as much passive XP. Yeah, I feel like geez. we're getting a lot more though. I feel like right now birdhouses and stuff like that are are kind of like. Um, a reflection yeah, of 2010 RuneScape. Because 2010 I, I RuneScape... I that. Yeah, yeah, exact, I am, I am exactly. Daily, I, I, feel, I feel like Old School RuneScape is That's starting... A good point. Yeah, I feel like Old School RuneScape is kind of starting to um, get into a similar flow like See. 2010 RuneScape. Like I, original RuneScape where passive shit is happening. I feel your like concern, you man, but I feel like there's yeah. also a ceiling that will never, ever even come close to. I hope not. We'll get slowly not, yeah. up there, but there's no no way we'll ever go back to that time where you get an effigy, etc. Like, RuneScape might be the home of the loot box, if you think about it, you know, in a way. Yeah, no, I hope not. I mean, so I mean, I feel like it's not as bad as 2010. Yeah. And there's definitely but, a lot um, of skill. The only thing I hate is, like, you, you can tick manip, and that's fucking sick, but when you don't, people shit on you. <laughs> Like, what's up with that? <laughs> yes. There is no call yeah. to make fun of me fishing and drinking a beer. All right, that's what RuneScape's about. If you mm. want to fucking click your little mouse more than me, fuck you, all right? I, yeah. I hate this shit. Dude, they make no, fun I of you hard. I completely agree with you, man. Like, when I got 99 fishing on my hardcore, I sat there for, like, two months just barb fishing. Just, I'd play it over account, and then I'd yeah, shift okay, up yeah, into our yeah. inventory. Yeah, and then yeah. occasionally, I'd be like, do you know what, I'm going to go hard for an hour and see what yeah. this is like and then i'd fucking is it free tick fish and i'd get double the xp i'd get 100k and i'd be like well i hate my life now was it worth it no no, no. So go back to <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, if you enjoy it you enjoy it all right yeah so we're yeah, just not getting all these like for... bonus xp stuff which yeah, is good. i just hate when they like make you feel bad for not doing it it's like why aren't you really trying when you fish it's like, <laughs> bitch it's fishing you know it's supposed to <laughs> yeah, be yeah, chill yeah. it's one of the chillest things you can do it's yeah, no, I feel like, I, the, I like the, the dynamic's fine. I feel like with the AFK, you know, it's just it's just AFK shouldn't be higher X like high or even close XP to non AFK. If that makes sense. Oh, there's some like things in the game. Then. What about I mean, there's some things in the game like Redwoods where you can AFK and still get crazy XP. But, yeah, but for the most you part, that's like two tick and teeks though. Like two yeah. tick and teeks is like one fifty k. Red was yeah, like yeah. 60 but like something. yeah, yeah, yeah. But like so still, know. okay. Right? For how AFK it is, it's still pretty insane. So. But, so, yeah, yeah. I, I personally like the option of there being AFK methods, but I do yeah. agree with you. They shouldn't be the best XP in game. If you yeah, want the best right. XP in game, you got to work for it. Yeah, yeah. So, for the most part, old school is kept that way, which is good. But I don't know. I, I was just saying it's not there yet, but yeah, we, we're definitely, it's definitely gotten gradually easier for sure. You know, see, we can all a agree lot of it, a lot of just small stuff. on all of this, which is awesome, right? We all agree that. Even though it's skilling, there's a part of the community that really likes to do skillful things, especially with PVM. But what I hate is how segregated we are against PKers, right? Because anytime people want to PK, it's like, oh, just go die in a hole, you know? It's like, bro, but we're cool if you guys skill efficiently. Why can't we have our shit, you know? But mm. like, I, I think it's because, like, even to PK, there is a level of skilling that you need to do, like, such as getting borrow gloves and things like that. So yeah, all, all PKs affects skill. everybody, but PKing is optional for people that. Dude, you know, I agree, but it's PK. the same damn game. You know, it should be yeah. falling under some sort of umbrella of RuneScape, and people feel like it's like some fucking. Are you attacking me, you little shithead? Like, what kind of re you're in the wild, dumbass? I get that reaction all the time. Like, bro, you're just bad. they'll let you, like sit and stop and just talk shit. Yeah, while man. Tanking. And that's like the meta, and people are like, yeah, dude, you kind of deserve that. You were trying to have fun in the wild, like, oh. yeah, it's, I mean, it's it's interesting because like the wilderness used to be like the I'd say it was like the sole thing about RuneScape that was appealing to people oh, yeah. like way back in the day. It's like a comparison could be like imagine if someone played Fortnite and instead of killing other people in Fortnite, which is what the games they just build, for, <laughs> they they just gathered and build a base. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And they talk and shit it's... about people who attack them. What are you doing, dude? Get the I'll yeah, build like, dude, a house why are you here. Come on, me? man. I'm just a peaceful farmer. Like, yeah, like, believe me, be. It's so dumb. I feel like the I feel like it's because the end game is the end game of RuneScape used to be a 
I, in my opinion, used to be more like PK focus. You PK a mage bank in max or something like that. Oh, and yeah, now okay. it's more yeah. like you do the inferno, you get a max cape. Like there just PK needs really to be to something to end this dumb. Yeah, like, exactly, it should not yeah. be a segregated game. We all are playing this hipster ass mm -hmm. fucking old click to play game. We all give a shit about it. Yeah, you should hate uh, people for doing something else. So, I mean, yeah. the purge will solve every issue. There we go. Yeah, that'll just really not make them uh, hate PKers, huh, dude? Yeah. Oh mm. man, I'm still. I love this shit, dude. I love. I love. I found this clip, mate. Here, you know yeah. what, Racy? I got you, dude. Hey, you <laughs> I did like the video. There you go. That's man. like. What's that? Like a one to four dislike ratio. That's got 700 dislikes. That's just a under 4,000 views. That's, that's good. A that's a lot of interactions. That is I mean, interactive. That's basically. <laughs> it would... should have spread this out to ten minutes, dude. What are you doing? Yeah, man? With the amount of dislikes, it would have, it would not have passed the poll. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. Yeah. You got zero out of fifty. Hundred. Oh, dude. Learn to tag me. What are you doing? That, that was four <laughs> years ago, man. Give me a break. I love that's that. Crazy. That's my favorite comment. Scroll up. Scroll Long up time my... subbing, subbing. Which one here? Wait, my, my favorite <laughs> comment. No, no. Up a little yeah, bit more. Man. Up a tiny bit more. There you go. No, down, down. Just a slight. It's a picture of a. There you go. Barack Olama. And subs. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I love um, that. He's got three yeah, subs, bro. That. Apparently, you oh lost half your sub base, one, man. man. Jeez. Damn, you lost all your arm and subscribers. <laughs> you know what? You know what happened? I did something with my sub count accidentally. It was back when I had like 7K subs, and I accidentally uploaded this huge uh, broadcast, but it split it up into 15 minutes, so it was like 100 clips at once. Blew up everyone's sub box. I lost 2,000 subs in one day. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up I like, I hope that. they like these videos. And I just see all this shit. I'm like, oh, I just feel so bad, dude. Yeah, man. Like, was it, it, it by anyone... accident or something? Yeah, I didn't think it, they would spam the box. Who fucking makes something like that? That's shitty. Oh, my dude. God. I, I so always like subscribe when people do that. <laughs> yeah, so it was 100 always. videos all in their sub boxes? Yeah, I didn't mean to do it. It was so long oh, ago. I dude. felt real bad. I started deleting them. I'm like, oh. Oh but at least I didn't, you know, take somebody's chaos silly pet, mate. No, I was kidding. <laughs> His name so, was so they were all just like random clips or something. <gasps> like a hundred. Oh my god! Clips. I just had this dude. I'm not even fucking joking. I swear on my life. I this was ages ago. This was four years ago. After this happened, I got hacked. Right, and this was probably like a few months later. And there was a screenshot that was sent to me, and it was. The person who hacked me was it uh, Artie Beaver with all of my pets in my inventory, all of my cash died into his account or whatever. And uh, in the chat box, it said "Vengeance for Iron Fur, fur or whatever Aww. that guy's name is." I'm not even <laughs> fucking joking. <laughs> I'm dead. Yeah. I think I think I only lost like maybe two, three hundred mil or something like that. But that uh, actually yeah. happened. I'm, I, that's that's Autumn that right there. The Autumn got gotcha. you. Autumn got gotcha, you, It could have been me. It could have been. <laughs> was he wearing right. a mining skill cape when he got you there? <laughs> He's fucking... I was like, I was like, I don't care about the pets, man. I was like, they're in short anyway. You can buy it back. Like, you yeah, get a bag. Yeah. Feels good, man. <laughs> You'll get a bag. I was like, sorry about your tail sunny pet, mate. But yeah, they they got they got karma on me, I guess, in a fucked up way. They told no, me that's super fun. Uh, they that's hacked my right. account. And speaking of the email that my account was. Um, connected to back in the day those motherfuckers still hacking that email i can't even get in bitch i tried to log in the other day and check an email information's wrong can't recover it or anything fuck that wow, account. Dude. Yeah, yeah i know it is one of those things but hey it is it's Austin's. just going above the thing is they'll they have the power to do something shitty they just got to find someone to do it to so they can exact their justice yeah. and i hate that type of that's exactly. like some hitler shit that's some dude, hitler shit dude if they want to get real revenge beat me in a hybrid fight they can't do that and they have Yo, to you, you know you beat them in a real fight bro effort, like, me and rice be behind them like this shit. and shit you know fucking i got you man yo this is gonna be some of the weirdest shit i ever say but like you know the wilderness <laughs> is kind of like a soap opera like there's no <laughs> a lot of people yelling in spanish you right problem. There will never like you, like you know how like there's those drama shows where nothing like they nothing good ever happens like everything's yeah. always bad. It's kind of like the wilderness because it's like okay you know we have we have non wilderness and and we're we're forcing people to go to the wilderness so we're always just creating these conflicts that can't be solved because nobody like all these people that don't want to PK they want to do their cruise girls they want to do their skills in the wilderness. But they always have to deal with PKers, and they get so pissed because it's like, why do I have to deal with this? You know, and they, yeah. it's like yeah, easy it's solution. Like 
Easy solution though. They just drop the clue scroll. It's a get a Spanish new one. soap opera for yeah. those bots out there. Yeah, man. so so like oh, yeah. it's like Telemundo. No, no Telemundo. nobody ever wins. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. Nobody ever wins. It just keeps creating problems after problems, and nothing you can't solve it no matter what. Because I love when I um attack somebody who doesn't like they're speaking Spanish. I don't know, so my chat translates like, yeah, he just told you to fuck yourself and your <laughs> and so I'm like, dude, I got his power ammo, dude. Why is he so angry? Yeah, he's gonna come kill you yeah. and your family or something. I don't know every time it's always like yeah exactly that's not shit. see that's not the point right it's not the drops it's not the power amulet it's just the fact that you kill them right in cold blood in the know? wilderness pretty much someone's gonna have a good day someone's not gonna have that great of a day you know there's yeah. a power dynamic yeah, yeah yeah it's like it's like those movies where it just starts off and it's a tragic thing somebody just gets hit by a car and like they die <laughs> My favorite. And that's that, that's yeah. literally that you know it's like you go in the wilderness you just die what kind and of fucked like, up movie yeah, are you watching, I'm dead, man? You know, what kind of you know it's, it's, it's interesting. I don't think I've ever been mad specifically at anybody in all the years I've PK'd in the wilderness for dying to somebody in the wildy. I've never been mad at that person because it was my own risk and like intentions to go in there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I, I, I've been mad. Don't I've have been, that perspective. I, the only time I've been yeah. mad at people for killing me is if they've like DDoSed me. That's the trip because that's not fair. Do you know what I mean? That's the way yeah. that I see it. But I've never been mad at somebody for killing me in the wildy, regardless of how much they killed me. I, I have to just get over my head. anger. You know, I'll be like, you know what? Fuck it, dude. You know, I get a little angry. Just <clears> a little <throat> burst of like, fuck that guy. I hope he dies in a fight. Yeah. I just calm that shit down. Like, dude, what's wrong with me? You know? <laughs> I, just died, <laughs> I, I just died at Lava Dragons, literally. We're back at this every update now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh right. Anyways, <laughs> lads, let's uh, let's wrap this one up. Is there anything else you guys? Uh, we still sell uh, my Jed uh, T-shirts down uh, below. Really. Only extra large. <laughs> Get them in, dude. Uh, Beautiful. Solo, dude. Your channel's been blowing up. You guys, best sub. Yeah, if you watch man. all the way to end. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna catch yeah. up one day. Really man. Man. What are your social medias, man? Where can people? Uh, solo mission on Twitter. Solo mission. YouTube, and then solo mission on Twitch. As well, basically, Beautiful. solo mission on my stream. Solo mission everywhere. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's it's when you're asleep though. It's like afternoon GMT. Fuck, dude. Yeah. We need to do so some you, duo yeah. PK in, man. I'm trying to get some people for that, it. dude. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, thanks a lot, boys, for watching. Hope it's been entertaining, right. and yeah. thanks, yeah, solo mission, much. for coming by. Appreciate it. Enjoy the artwork. Bye. Bye. Bye.